Welcome, fellow masters. My name is Musaki from Kaldia Gurus, and man, we're getting a lot of stuff. On January 18th, the 2 million download campaign will begin. For this campaign, we'll see quite a few things, so let's dig right into it. The event lasts for one week, ended on the 25th, and is eligible to all who play Fate Grand Order during this week, so even new players and re-rollers have access to these benefits. Part 1 requires you to log in 5 days in a row from the 19th to the 24th, and you'll get 25 Saint Courts in total. That's a big chunk, so be sure to log in, guys. Part 2 of the campaign is a real treat. Starting right on the 18th to the 22nd, we'll be given 5 of 1 item each day. In this order, we'll get Blaze of Wisdom, Full Card HP, Full Card Attack, Golden Apples, and Summon Tickets. They expire on June 30th, so make sure to grab them before that date. Part 3 will include a 4-star heroic portrait craft difference. There are 10 in total, but they each have the same effect. The only difference is in the art, so pick your favorite. Personally, I'll be picking either Skahash or Mashu. Or Ishiwakamaru. Or maybe Altera? Wait, what about John? But Arjuna? Arturia? <laughs> All the options. This will get worse, by the by. The effect of the craft essence is... Attack 500, HP 500, increases bond gain when completing quests by 50. Whoa, bond point increase? Yeah, get this. This may be a small amount, but if you're trying to grind bond points, this will help. You can find it in Da Vinci's shop, and it'll be there until the 25th. Part 4 of the event is pretty cool. We'll have the chance to obtain the Anniversary Blonde Mystic Code. Yes, you get to wear Casual Arturia's outfit. The skills for the Mystic Code are Manaverse, increase Buster Card performance for one turn for one ally. Victorious Conviction, gain critical stars. Knight's Oath, apply Guts one time for one turn. You can get this Mystic Code after completing a special quest in the Caldea Gate. You have until the 25th until it's gone forever, so if you're a collector, now is your only chance. Part 5 is great for new players and rerollers. The Start Dash campaign has been renewed. If you didn't know, if you complete the Fuyuki Singularity during the Start Dash campaign, you'll get 10 Saint Courts. Including a tutorial reward of 2 Saint Courts, you'll find yourself with 12 Saint Courts total. Added to the fact, if you log in for 7 days straight, you'll get 28 Saint Courts, 3 summoning tickets, 14,000 friend points, 7 Fire of Wisdom cards, and 100 KQP. That's enough for a 10 roll, guys. Take advantage of this to get your friends involved and encourage positive growth in our community. Or do you roll and get Brynhilde? Part 6 reduces the AP cost of Ember Gathering by half. Yes! Yes! This is great. I don't know about you, but I have a lot of servants who need to be leveled, but I've used a lot of resources in Saber Wars. This will help new and old players alike, especially if you're low on master level. The low AP cost will cause you to power level quickly. As well as all the wonderful general gifts given to us, we will also have an interlude for Altera. This interlude will increase the power of a Noble Phantasm by 100% and increases the amount of defense lowered to 20% on hit. So if you have Altera, make sure you get this interlude done. It's definitely good civilization. Last but certainly not least, the new limited time summoning banner. With this banner, we have a rare chance to get the 5 star Lancer Brynhilde. The ill fated Valkyrie is not alone, however. She is joined by the 4 star Berserker Beowulf and the 4 star Lancer Jealous Boyfriend, Beyond Mac Cumhall. Yeah, yeah, I know. Brynhilde has a QQA BB deck with a Buster Noble Phantasm that focuses on a single target. I called her rare because this is really the only time you will have to get her. In JP, she can get another rate up for another two years. Yeah, she's gone like the wind. However, she has legs and is worth getting if you don't have a single target Lancer. She's great, dare I say, on par with Skahak. What? Calm down, calm down, jeez. He really is always here. She also has a trial quest like Arjuna and Karna before her. So you can try her out there and even get a summoning ticket. If you want my opinion, honestly, I suggest watching the Voice of the Saint Quids video on her. You'll find the link in the description and in the upper right hand corner here, but let's just say he has some words about her that you'll want to hear. The banner ends on the 25th, but I want to take note of something. This line here. 
Azoth Blade, Black Keys, Ren's Pendant, etc. will be removed from the summoning pool. Woohoo! Alright! You can still get them with the friend point summon, which makes sense. So this should help us get those servers we want, right? Now. Oh. So we're getting new 3-star craft essences as well as a new 4-star and 5-star craft essence. The link in the description will tell you a bit about what they do, but let's be honest here, a lot of these craft essences will just turn into mana prisms. Granted, some will have good effects, but we'll go over that in the new craft essence video down the line. And with that, we're all set here. So what do you guys think? Are you excited for Burn? Are you saving for Jolter? Who is coming soon? Let us know in the comments below and let's get a discussion going. I'm Musaki from Kadia Gurus, logging out. Thank you for watching the video, Senpai. If you want to see more, make sure you subscribe and ring the bell to be notified. Want to support us even more? Feel free to go to our Patreon and check us. Special thanks to the lovely names on the screen, and especially special thanks to our patrons Devin Luca, Lucky Number Five, Albi Rio, and Nell Celestine. You masters are truly awesome. Now, good luck and fight hearts and pie.